All right, tubers, time for something a little bit different. I really, really like my Ryobi One Plus range. And that's the battery I've Who had am since I kidding? the day I bought it. He's got nothing to do with the Ryobi products. Let's fire through to all this junk and get to the spot welder that Banggood sent me for free. Paperwork. That's probably the warranty card in another language. I'm not sure which language it is. Little book, all in English. We probably won't read the instructions. We'll just get after it and have some fun. More packing. Oh yeah, we got. Oh cool. Okay. So they sent a couple of strips of nickel and a little holder thing, so you can actually looks like so you can spot weld it nice and easily. Um, that's a downside. You would think they would have sent me an Aussie plug. Doesn't matter. I have an adapter, but I would have expected since it was coming to Australia, it would have been an Australian plug. Or even just a kettle cord that you could, could have just changed out quite simply. I guess that's something that they can look at. I would never have gotten a spot welder if it wasn't for DIY Tech and Repairs doing his work and a few others out there in the community doing a lot of stuff with the spot welders. I never for a second thought it was possible to spot weld wire that you can't even see. Now it is the cheapest on the market. I think including this it is about $200 posted. I will leave a link below. Um, so I did buy the, I did order, get whatever you say, it's got to be politically correct, right? The cheapest one possible. It's got a little charging cable, so you can charge batteries and stuff. It's got four uh, little little pins, little copper pins, and they go in here, so you can do the spot welding. You've got to screw them in with a little Allen key that they provide. Uh, we've got a bunch of nickel strip and a couple of 20 amp fuses and a foot pedal. Now the foot pedal has a 1.3 meter cable and I'm guessing because I can't find my tape measure which is typical. So let's put this thing together try a couple of little test um, spot welds and see if we can start making some stuff. I've got a bunch of cells there that need doing so I should start building some packs if I can. So I'm pretty impressed with the kit. It come packaged pretty well um, I also went out and bought this as well because I don't know what I'm actually going to do but I bought a kilo of 0.8 millimeters across and 0 0.015 millimeter thick uh, pure nickel off where did I get that from might have been Amazon I think yeah so I had to pay for that that's about 120 bucks and it took about three weeks to get here so I'm pretty glad I got that as well okay let's put this together and see if we can run a couple of test welds I guess you'd say. Right out, all set up seems to be working. We have got the foot pedal plugged in here to this little yellow one. We also have a few cells charging with the little charger down the bottom. However I think I've found a problem with that already. You can't spot weld and charge at the same time. You probably wouldn't want to anyway. So we'll unplug that, get rid of that, um, turn that one off, get one out of the way. And I'm just going to use this one for now. Now I've got four bits of um, nickel strip that I got out of the packet that was with it, so I'm just going to try a couple of Okay, at this point I'm just going to hit the fast forward button on this whole video. At, look, at the end of the day, the whole spot welding the nickel strip didn't work really well at all. Um, the, the really fine stuff that I got with the kit worked, the thinnest possible stuff worked well and worked straight away. The thickest stuff, I could hardly get it to stick at all. Now I don't know whether that was my technique and experience or the product itself, but I'll be investigating that further. Moving forward, now I'm going to work out a way of making this spot welder work for my situation, i.e. building DIY power wall packs. I'm not doing an e-bike or anything like that, so I don't need high amp current draw. So let's change focus from um, spot welding nickel strip to spot welding little tiny bits of wire and see how well that works. Traveling so far Like a dragon
Well, there we go, bus bar is all fitted up and zip tied on. Now I haven't done zip ties before but I do like it. Now what I've done a little bit differently, this is my little test one. I actually put the um, the knobby bits of the zip tie on the positive side rather than the negative side. And that's just so I've got actual standoff. So when the glass fuses are here and if I put the, the cell that way down, which I often do, it, it provides a couple of little stands there to, to protect those fuses a bit. So let's get this happening and see if we can spot weld this baby up. There we go, there's the first 20 spot welded on. About 6 minutes to do 20 of them, and I think as I get better, it's going to be much quicker. I've had 2 pop off so far. Again, maybe that's technique, maybe that's um, how I'm doing it, but we'll see if we get better at doing this. The plan here is to actually use, on the negative side, use part of a fuse as the wire. So I'll be able to use this bit here and again at the other end, if you can see that focusing. Uh, trying to reuse stuff, so I should be able to snip it off here. So as you can see, it is a lovely, nice, tidy solder joint on the bus bar. Along with a nice, safe spot weld to the actual cell itself. I think that's a win. Right, yeah, there we have it's completed a job for the negative side for the negative bus bar very neat and tidy actually I like it it took an hour or so to actually do the entire uh, negative side and I think that's just a little bit too long um, like I said before maybe with a little bit of practice I can get it down quicker um, the reason why I didn't use this wire which is the old wire that I used for the negative side which is also one single strand of this is it just wouldn't spot weld so the spot welder just wouldn't do it so I had to use that to spot weld it the legs on that as I described earlier but it did it does it does work well it does spot weld it's very very slow well at least it feels a lot slower than what I thought it would be and some of them I had to do two and three times to actually get them to spot weld so I don't know whether it's me or this or whatever so rather than proceeding on and doing the positive side I am going to now stop 
um, call this one a video and then I'm going to go around and grab probably Rowan's better spot welder he I don't even know what number it is but it's better than this one apparently so higher amps and stuff like that so I'm going to try the same thing with a different spot welder and then do, see if we can do a direct comparison between the two anyway tubers this has been a long one if you've hung around this long please throw me one of them I would appreciate it comments below if I'm doing something wrong or do something better or I don't know maybe we need to cut these cables off and you know put some decent sized bolts in there and put some decent sized lugs on there and beef it up a little bit who knows you know maybe that connection there that's not letting the current transfer enough who knows anyway tubers I'll see you on the next one cheers eh